Paramahamsa Nityananda, a rare living incarnation, is named among the world's 100 most spiritually influential personalities today. Paramahamsa Nityananda has been placed alongside Dalai Lama, Nelson Mandela, Oprah Winfrey, Paulo Coelho and others by Mind Body Spirit, the world's top esoteric magazine from Watkins, London's oldest and largest bookstore. A yogi by birth, he has been expressing his power of enlightenment since birth. He has authored more than 500 books in Tamil and English. Translations of these books are available in 26 languages in Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, Hindi, Sanskrit, Gujarati, Oriya, Bengali, Marathi, French, Malay, Polish, Portuguese, Italian, German, Danish, Spanish, Russian and Chinese. He is also an exemplary speaker with over 10,000 hours of profound life solutions through his discourses, social services such as Annadan, free medical care, free educational services with ashrams, schools, temples, hospitals established in more than 140 places around the world offering exceptional services. A powerful spiritual healer who has healed millions of people of diseases from migraine to cancer, a Kriya Yogi who has formulated Kriyas for physical health and mental well-being benefiting thousands, a living master who offers practical solutions for our everyday problems. He is the founder and spiritual head of Nityananda Dhyanapitam, a spiritual powerhouse who has revived the sacred Vedic tradition by establishing Vedic temples in places like Los Angeles, San Jose, Seattle, Toronto, Ohio, Oklahoma, Phoenix, St. Louis, Malaysia, Brazil, Paris, Guadeloupe, Dallas, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, Calgary, Vancouver, Singapore and places in India like Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Tiruvannamalai. A spiritual guru for 10 million followers, an incarnation who transmits the highest spiritual energy through initiation, a contemporary yogi who has revived the Vedic science of yoga worldwide through thousands of yoga centers, an adept in Ashta Mahasiddhi's mystical yogi powers who has effortlessly awakened the Kundalini of thousands and graced them with spiritual powers, a dynamic young guru who is an inspiration for thousands of youngsters. India's most watched spiritual guru online, a beacon of spiritual light who has triumphed over the forces of religious terrorism and political persecution. Paramahamsa Nityananda is an eternal Kalpataru blessing the world with the boons of material abundance and spiritual enlightenment. Vande Papa Vinashatam Nityananda Yaswagatam Nitya Muktam Nirvikalpam Dhyana Loka Pradipakam Vande Shantamayam Bandham Nityananda Yaswagatam Ananda Gandha Sancharam Sarvo Padhi Vinir Muktam Vande Yanalayam Natham Nityananda Yaswagatam If you take the ocean water in one cup, all the qualities of the ocean water will not be there in that one cup. Naturally, the life which is in the ocean, its contribution to that water will not be there in the cup water. But the Paranjyoti, Paranjyoti is a Rishi, who wrote, recorded this whole Leelas. Paranjyoti was capable of bringing all components and dimensions of the ocean into one cup. He was able to describe so beautifully the Leelas, I tell you, because the incidents themselves cannot capture the charisma of an enlightened being, an incarnation. 
the context in which the incident is presented the understanding with which the happening is shared that creates the inspiration in the next level human beings to raise themselves to that state please understand raslila of sri krishna can inspire somebody to be a womanizer can inspire some women to become beloved of krishna the context in which it is presented the way in which it is shared the way in which it is taken to human beings the way in which human beings are taught decides whether raslila is going to create womanizers or enlightened women whether womanizers are going to be created or enlightened women are going to be created will be decided only the context in which the whole story is presented i tell you paranjodi is the best biographer he has done such a monumental work i know for sure in front of him at least 100000 incidents and the leelas would have been there but he cannot record all the 100000 people won't have time to read he has to choose between that 100000 he has to reduce the 100000 to 63 impossible which one you will leave and which one you will choose i tell you nobody else could have done better job than paranjodi each incident explains expresses one extraordinary power sundareshwara was radiating one extraordinary experience sundareshwara was radiating an extraordinary capability sundareshwara was radiating please understand capability is not power capability is like a circus by training it comes power comes through training but not by training for example you meditate meditate suddenly one day you start levitating it comes through training but not by training capability means you hang in a rope and try to do yoga or exercise circus in that rope by training 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 you are you master it so well just holding the rope with one finger you are able to hang this is capability this comes by training but you are meditating 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 suddenly you start levitating this does not come by training it comes through training means even if you are getting trained at one point there will be a breakthrough where beyond what was added will express that is extraordinary powers but paranjodi is not inhuman fellow he does not record only extraordinary powers of sundareshwara he records extraordinary capabilities of sundareshwara also that is why that sweet human touch where sundareshwara goes and carries mud to embank to build embankment for this vaigai this whole river itself is created by one of his disciple follower a gundodara the fellow ate too much ate literally everything during the marriage festival and he was having hiccups <coughs> and his hiccup was like a lightning attacking the whole city minakshi got frightened as far as i remember that's the only time she got frightened so shiva said all right go and put your hand on the ground and water will come and so ganga immediately came and he drank the water and quenched his thirst whatever so to build embankment for this vaigai he has to carry the sand all the problems created by disciples for that he has to carry the sand <laughs>
I know the modern day youth is really suffering. Humanity has never faced this crisis. I have created a one year program where you can study the spiritual truths Nitya Yoga practices to create healthy body, spiritual discourses to develop mental health, meditations that help balance emotions, kriyas to break mental patterns that create suffering, opportunity to express leadership qualities, techniques that improve creative skills, learn to break all self-limiting barriers to achieve your dreams Ananda Yogam I am providing a platform for you to think meditate contemplate and decide about your future I am giving you one year free food shelter clothes above all the spiritual education and intelligence and intuition to take decision about your future. Every participant is taught the Vedic truths to live life as it leads in a nurturing ambience along with inspirational spiritual education that helps bring out the best and achieve one's highest potential. Youth across the world can come and spend an year in Ananda Yogam to work on you to discover your future to discover your destiny or recreate your destiny i'll open my house for you for one year completely free come and stay here discover and recreate your destiny interviews at nityananda dhyanapitam nityananda nagar bidhi bengaluru Nine seven four two two zero three three one one. Now I can understand. Not just extraordinary powers, his extraordinary capabilities are also beautifully described by Paranjyoti. That is why the human touch. I tell you, just if you read the sixty-three leelas, you will have feeling connection to Sundareshwara. This book is like a kalpataru. Because once you have feeling connection for him, he is not a philosopher. Understand? All of you, if you remember, I took a vow in Kailash that I will, I will give whoever as whatever without judging. <clears throat> if they come in my breathing space and ask, it is given. Sundareshwara is that energy. And he will go to any extreme and take risks. As I said now, if somebody comes who sold all the wealth and drank and womanized, made 10 lakh debt, coming and asking Sundareshwara, I wanted to settle my debt and I want more money for womanizing. Give me a few years of life also for womanizing. If Sundareshwara does not have this money, he will go and steal and bring and give. That is Sundareshwara's compassion. He will go in the night, literally, using all his powers, open the doors, steal, bring it and give. There are three incidences where Sundareshwara went around stealing. is recorded in Thiruvalayadal Puranam. The book describes his leelas. Three times he went around stealing in his own city. He has not left anything undone. But I tell you, there was never ever the sweetest human dimension recorded about the divine without reducing the grandeur and beauty of the divine in the language anywhere on the planet Earth. To compile the incidents and experiences happened between me and my disciples, I don't think anybody else can capture that glory and radiate it through the muscles. See, it's like a glory of the vast ocean and sunrise 
அந்த ஷைனிங் ஃபுல் மூன் அந்த ஹியூஜ் ஹிமாலயாஸ் இந்த எக்ஸ்ட்ராடினரி கைலாஷ் ஆல் தீஸ் குளோரிஸ் vast sky all possible glories expressed in its purest form through the muscles is sundareshwara when he sits it is kailash when he walks it is tsunami when he turns his eyes it is eclipse the beauty of the cosmos in flesh and bones is sundareshwara the description does not reduce the divine qualities and grandeur but does not miss the human touch coming down to the ordinary level he is not available only for pandits and the yogis and meditators he is available to a drunkard womanizer pigs one pig got killed in the hunting by the king all the child the children of pig what do you call in english one person piglets all the piglets were crying and he comes as a pig to feed them god i cannot imagine i cannot even imagine this compassion means what this whole area he decided in this geography i'll be available throughout the history and no philosophy that is sundareshwara in this geography i'll be available throughout the history without any hindrance of philosophy over this is exactly the description of sundareshwara no philosophy restriction is philosophy of madurai adinam that is the philosophy of sundareshwara comes down assumes human body thus all legal illegal socially accepted non accepted all types of leelas not just for his devotees yogis rishis spiritual seekers no for drunkards for prostitutes for pigs i don't i can't even put a restriction if you feel connected only then he will come no i can't imagine pigs felt connected to sundareshwara and they called oh sundareshwara please come and give a milk no it is just costless purely reasonless i bow down to the pure love and compassion of sundareshwara the four statements i wanted to make the beginning of the satsang i made only one statement i'll make three other statements in next satsangs costless reasonless expression of the divine not only in human form in any form he came down as pig female pig god i bow down to his compassion and his grace o sundareshwara let your grace be on all of us i'll continue on my satsangs on the philosophy and history of madhur yadinam it feels let you all achieve experience live express radiate share and explode in eternal bliss nityananda nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road biradi bangalore 562109 contact 0974220331 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifeblissfoundation